it's a chance for us to really like take care of the kids so one day they can take care of us. You know, we teach them how to grow now, they feed us later. For a lot of school districts across the state, it is spring break. While some families are using the week to relax and unplug, others are itching to get out and do something, anything. But not everyone is ready to travel just yet, so many are finding something to do close to home, and that's really important. Tonight, our Liam McNeil takes us to Colleen, where community leaders are using the next week to keep kids engaged. Kids are naturally curious, but being a little too curious could get you into trouble. With this in mind, some community leaders stepped up to give kids something productive to do over the break. I remember being a teen here during spring break and not having much to do. Remembering his own boredom, he felt as a teen and clean. Bantonio Fraley, founder and creator of the I'm Possible Teen Center, has a week's worth of events planned. We're knowing our kids are getting poured into which ultimately is a long-term investment into the community. That does sound really good because there's so many kids that don't have an outlet where they feel like they don't have anywhere to go. Dr. Tammy Bracewell says it's common to see an increase in property crimes when school is out. So having events in the community during these times is essential to keeping kids engaged. They can maybe learn something, but also have a good time while staying out of trouble. Instead of being in front of a screen, they can be in front of something that can really and empower them or pour into them. Kevin Knight at the Words United Bookstore is also encouraging kids to expand their minds this break by cracking open a book. A better way to spend the time just, you know, investing in yourself versus TV screens and tablets. Both Fraley and Knight believe pouring into the youth is beneficial to all areas of the community. Reporting in Colleen, Leah McNeil, 25 News.